You think he's married to Zelda? Hmm, he speaks so highly of her. And a guy like him. He's well collected, acts like he always on duty. It's got to be the princess herself. He would have to, at the very least, be a noble for that. Besides, he came from nothing, even more so than the rest of us. Sure, he could. If they love him enough, they'll slap every sort of title to his name. Sir, Lord, Master. It's all about who you know and who you impress. <laughs> Wanna bet? Why? You think otherwise? He's seen the world, traveled it tenfold. And I think he realizes happiness is found in the simple life. Not fame and glory or any sort of title. I bet she's a simple nobody from a nowhere place. Well, I guess it's a bet then. Okay, you said detour, but where exactly is this? You've been awfully cheerful. Have I? Well, you could say this place is feeling a lot like home. Speaking of... You're back! <laughs> it's not Zelda pay up. Ah, oh, cheater. You somehow knew. I would have never guessed. So, there she is. I can't believe it. It's really her. <laughs> Everyone, this is my wife, Malin. My husband has told me about you boys in his letters. It's a pleasure finally to meet you all. Welcome to Lon Lon Ranch. No matter how different our lives are, home still feels like home. This beats a castle any day. I'll say. I think I have that same cabinet. Well, look at that. You were right, dear. They definitely are their own persons. I'd introduce you, but you already know our name. Well, you look like a respectable knight in shining armor. <laughs> oh, I like her already. That's the last thing you needed to hear. <gasps> That's more like it. A strong boy like you couldn't grow up like this in no castle town. Spirit of a hero, blood of a knight, but this one's got the build of a farmer. Uh, yes, actually. My, my, you're all so charming. Oh, is this one as young as you were, dear, when you started? I set out when I was 12. Now I'm almost 14. My mistake, young man. I'd hate to think you boys have gone through as much as my husband. <laughs> I guess it comes with the job. So I've heard. Well, there we have it. By the way, where's your father? Delivering in town. You know him, he'll take his time. So I'm happy we have this many guests. I hope you boys can settle in for a few days. We don't have high-class luxury, but Lon Lon Ranch is the perfect place to relax. Anything I can help with? Any chores need to be taken care of? I'm familiar with farm work. That's mighty decent of you. Why, yes. In fact, they can all pitch in and help around the ranch. Now, dear, there are guests. Nonsense. We've got eight young men and boys with nothing better to do. Well, all right. In that case, I'll plan a big dinner. Here she is. She's had a few foals through the years. Just as wild-spirited as she is. But now, she just takes it easy. Isn't that right, old girl? I've got a bag of rubies here for anyone willing to handle the cuckoos. You think I'm stupid? Those were my rubies. Not to be used to kill someone. Come on, I know you can do it. Oh, just stop. Hmm. I'll do it. I love these tiny birds. <laughs> what? You afraid? Get that demon away from me! Oh? Fairies? We keep several bowls of sugar water around for them. Do you collect them? No. We're looking for one in particular. It seems impossible, but without closure, he... We will always hold on to hope. <sighs> Maybe one day. Wow. I hope you find her. <laughs> and now to cool it... Hmm. Coming out nice so far. Put your back into it, come on!
I don't make deals with cheaters. Huh? What did you just say? You made a deal with me already knowing. You got it exactly. <laughs> oh, here I thought you were trying to pick a fight, not be a sore loser. Listen, I guessed fair and square. If it makes your delicate hurt feelings any better, I'll admit I was wrong in a sense. Pray tell. I wasn't expecting a guy like him to have a wife like her. Are you being serious? Are you that surprised by her? Strong spirited, passionate, that singing voice, and not to mention a redhead. How a grumpy guy like him ended up with such a sweet woman like her is a real mystery. So yes, I'm surprised he has good taste. Oh, how sweet. I'll tell him how much you think he isn't good enough for her. That is not what I said! Alright, you've all done enough for today. Really? You haven't worked us to the bone quite yet. If you insist, there's plenty more to do. Very funny. Well, much sooner than I expected. Make yourselves comfortable. It will be a bit before dinner. Already done? I haven't even finished. We're short on space, but we have enough chairs. That's fine, we'll manage. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you two meet? We met when we were only kids. I was separated from my father and you-know-who came to my rescue. You gave me a chicken to wake your father. It worked though, Dad was practically running home. Sure... He knew your temper. You were so much trouble your father was practically willing to give you away. And like the little fairy boy you were, you took that joke literally. Well, it worked, didn't it? What? You? Cooking? What can I say? I never saw myself as a cook until I met these boys. If you help, then something's gonna go wrong. Speaking of help, Father's been looking for more hires on the ranch. That's good. He talked to his old friend, Ingo. What? Now, now, don't worry. Don't worry? Don't you start! Ingo is an opportunist. I'm not letting this slide. He's just a retired old man. That makes no difference. I know his true colors. Dad's just looking for recommendations. I don't want that man doing any business with your father. There you go again, you... No doubt you boys are all thinking about your own situations. I've come to understand your language of silence. You know one link, you know them all. When it comes to finding the right one, none of you are pushovers. I'm sure you've found a gal with a little sass. You're all attracted to that spark. It's like you boys love a battle or something. Oh, can't say I didn't try. What did I say? Looks like I won that battle. You're right. Then let me congratulate your victory. D don't you dare! No! Go clean up! Oh, you're terrible! <sighs> you know, he's found a normal life, despite everything he's been through. Sounds like that's what you want, too. Well, I don't know, but I bought a house. It's fixed up real nice. A house? <sighs> no thanks. Life on the road for me. Well, sure, not now. But what about when you get older? Uh, I'll be sure to remember that when I'm 117! Shh, guys, not sure how much Malin knows! No need to beat around the bush. I'm familiar with that sort, and I do mean all sorts of oddities. My husband has confided in me the darkest corners of his adventure. I'm fully aware of all that. No doubt I know more than you all. <laughs> Try us. Well, for one thing, I know how old he is, you know? His age on the inside. Really? Tell us. No way! He'd be upset. I can handle his silence, but not that sort of silence. Well, we guess 60. 60? <laughs> oh my! No, not 60. 
Oh, I thought for sure. Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> you were too. By that reaction, we were way off. I'm guessing older. Older? Really? Sigh. By the way, I wanted to ask about that ring. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Everyone says it. It's such a simple ring for a hero to get his gal. But the ring he proposed with was a bit much for a simple farm girl like me. We settled on something more modest. May look simple, but it's a powerful protection ring. Well, I'll be. I should have figured as much. Well, we've never had so many guests at once. It's a bit cozy, but I've seen you boys put up with worse. You kidding? This is perfect. You and Malin have been so hospitable. Now then, there is a conversation we've been putting off for some time now. Uh, yeah? It's amazing. I was starting to think the guy could barely lighten up. But he's a different person here. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? They always have private conversations. It's nothing new. Wonder what that was about. From what we've come to know of each other, we are in fact related. Not only by spirit, but by blood. Do you have any doubt? No. Without a doubt. So intense. It was just a question. Calm down. I, I am calm. I just wanted to hear you reconfirm. Because I should tell you, Malin does know. What? However, she doesn't know which one of you boys is the descendant. I've had her guessing all day. Not even a hint. This better not be a joke. I don't think she figured it out. Oh, I just knew it. Let me get a good look at you. You're fortunate you don't have his nose. It's a shame, really. Actually, you look as different as the others. Just how big is this family tree? Well, we can't say for certain, but it must be many generations, because any heroic deeds have obscured into ancient legends. It takes centuries to water down that red hair. That means our little ones will have families of their own, and them after? Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, hmm? And you're both risking your lives out there! Ah, why you gotta shout? I wasn't ready for that. Ow. Oh, I can think of all the times you've come home beaten and bleeding, if that ever happens to our boy here. <laughs> Darling, there are nine of us. See? You laugh because you know it's true. Darling... You should see him on the battlefield. I'm so proud. That's what I'm afraid of. If he and the boys have your same spirit, or however that is, I'm already worried sick. You're in danger if you took your best gear. Uh, help me out here. Uh, uh, rest assured, I've held my own well enough. Oh? Yes, have a seat. I want to hear what he has to say, but this conversation is not over. Oh, I wish Father was here to meet him! Eh, Talon doesn't ever believe half the stuff I tell him. Oh, that's not true! He loves to hear about your travels. No, he loves to humor me. That was a long conversation. Was it? So, what was that about? I'm so proud. Nothing, really. She's holding it like a shield, dammit. She's left-handed! She's a hero! <laughs>